So while we're reporting on today, Knott's Berry Farm have announced they're going to be making a surprising 2020 attraction announcement on November 19th in conjunction with Triotech Dark Rides. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Donkstaborn, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update in conjunction with Triotech and Knott's Berry Farm. Now before we get started, uh, make sure you go and check out our videos over the last few days, make sure you go and check out our video from today, um, from Dream World Australia on the closure of Tower of Terror 2, that video is online now, so make sure you go and enjoy that news update. We've got plenty more videos coming over the next few days, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. We've got plenty of updates that's been done over the last few days, we've had individual maze walkthroughs uh, from the Hallow Tween event, which is the teenage version of Hallow Screen over at York Maze. Uh, we've also had plenty of news updates. Uh, we did the news update on the Europa Park rumours on their next coast project and a potential Euromu refurbishment. And the same guy that actually commented about this on that video has actually said that Euromir 2.0 has apparently been confirmed and that next year will be Euromir's last season apparently. So we're going to have to stay close attention to that and, ask, and any, any articles that come out uh, confirming that. Uh, obviously it's just a comment and obviously it's not like I don't believe him, it's just I need proof. So for now we're going to take that as a total rumour, but it seems like next season will be the last season of the original Euromir attraction. So we'll keep close eyes on that. Um, so plenty of news updates set to come over the next few days. It's going to be hectic. Um, don't forget, some point mid-November there will not be a video because I'm at the Globe Theatre in London on that day. So there'll be no time to... Uh, record a video unless something is pre-recorded and, the sh and there's a little bit of time at the uh, late at night to upload it then I highly doubt there'll be a video on that day so that's going to be coming in a couple of weeks time so stay tuned uh, just in case there's no video on that day uh, so loads of things going off on the channel loads of things going off away from the channel and stuff like that uh, which is going to be absolutely awesome. So let's get over this news update then from Knott's Berry Farm. Now, November 19th, during the App IAPA trade show in Orlando, Florida, Knott's Berry Farm have announced they're going to be, in conjunction with Triotech Dark Rides, have announced they're going to be announcing a surprising attraction for the 2020 season. Now, we already know that for the 100th anniversary next year in 2020, they're doing like a Knott's family reunion kind of celebration uh, with some shows, some festivals, Things like that, just an overall celebration year. Kind of like what Cedar Point's doing for the 150th next year in the same year. Uh, Cedar Point's sort of like doing a celebration year with a brand new attraction. Uh, this like rumoured boat ride replacing the old paddle wheel excursion site. Um, so we don't know any more details on that. Hopefully we get an announcement on that very, very soon. Uh, and what that's going to help what that whole thing is going to be. Obviously, we did a news update on Cedar Point. Make sure you go check out the Cedar Fair Parks playlist for that update. It's got nearly 2,000 views, which is unbelievable, so thank you very much. Uh, make sure you go and check out all of our videos, because there's some uh, on there that's in the uh, late 20s in terms of views. There's the four maze walkthroughs that haven't hit 20 views yet as of recording this, so make sure you go and watch all our videos. Give, it, give all the videos its full support. Old videos, new videos, give it its full support, please. Um, so yeah, Triotech and Nosbury Farm are making this announcement on November 19th, 2019, during the IAPA Trade Show, on a brand new attraction for 2020. Now, this is a difficult situation because there's two main rumours going off. Now, during uh, the mid-70s, around 1975, they had a dark ride called Knott's Berry Tales. And then all the way through till 2000, it's basically that whole dark ride system operated until 2004, despite the fact Knott's Berry Tales had a re-theme into Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. Now, there's been a lot of people speculating that maybe Knott's are working with Triotech to bring Knott's Berry Tales or Kingdom of the Dinosaurs back from the ride graveyard and in a brand new light. Now, that's one rumour. Another rumour is refurbishment work and a whole reworking of Voyage to the Iron Reef. Now, Voyage to the Iron Reef has been at the park for a few years now. It's been having problems. I'm, I'm being reported this season it's been having lots of problems, including guns that don't work, sensors that don't work, 
uh, screen's not working, so it ruins the whole story of the experience. Now, when I first heard this ride a few years ago, when it was first announced to be opening in the season and it opened, I was very excited about this ride, I'm not going to lie, uh, because it looked like a great shooting dart ride, it looked like a great attraction, I thought they could really pull it off, and they did, but over time, over the most recent times as well, it's been having a lot of problems, so... It's very clear that Voyage to, the Iron, Voyage to the Iron Reef needs work, and of course it falls in with that whole uh, ride refurbishment program that, that, that we're sort of doing, uh, which started this year with the uh, refurbishment of the Bigfoot River Rapids into uh, uh, Calico River Rapids. Um, so it's, it was very clear there was going to be like a refurbishment program on that ride, a much needed refurbishment program on that ride and it made the ride just as good as it did when it first opened as Bigfoot Rapids. Um, so, you know, it's really brought new life into that attraction. So are they planning to do the same with the building of Voyage to the Iron Reef or the actual ride system to Voyage to the Iron Reef? Are they going to take the guns off? Are they going to become a traditional dark ride? Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but the main people, the, the main rumour that's going around, the main thing people want is to see the return of Knott's Berry Tales, which was a classic dark ride. I managed to see some footage uh, of the old Knott's Berry Tales ride, um, like it's very rare to get footage of that ride, but I've seen some footage and some pictures of the old classic attraction, and it does look like it was a good attraction for its time. So I think with a modern dark ride manufacturer, if you get some animatronics in there, take the guns off and turn it, it back into a traditional family dark ride, I think Knott's Berry Tales could return. I think there's a real possibility here, and of course with it being the 100th anniversary of Knott's Berry Farm. I personally believe there's a real opportunity here to bring back a classic dark ride to celebrate that anniversary. Same with Cedar Point, are they going to bring back paddle wheel excursions in a different form uh, for the 100th, 150th anniversary in 2020, the same year as Knott's anniversary? Is this going to be the year that Cedar Point and Knott's Berry Farm bring back two classic attractions to celebrate their anniversary in a new light? I mean. It's an opportunity, I mean, it, I won't put it past them, but it's an opportunity. And you know what, actually to be fair, whether it's a refurbishment to a voyage to the Iron Reef, or it's a return for Knott's Berry Tales or Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, which still looks a great attraction as well as Knott's Berry Tales, and if it's any other type, type of Triotech Dark Ride refurbishment, whatever it is, and whatever Cedar Point's doing with their boat ride attraction rumoured on the Power Wheel Excursion site, I think it would make Cedar Fairs 2020 a lot better due to the fact that they only added water park additions, a couple of shows, and a giga coaster. So, you know, I think it sort of balances out the ride and water park announcements. I know the water parks have needed a lot of work for a while now, and it's good to see loads of water park investments with Six Flags and Cedar Fair, but I feel like a new attraction could be worthwhile just to sort of help balance it out a bit, just a little bit more, because uh, I did feel it was a little... Uh, overbalance with water park and theme park. Water park investments, that's absolutely fine, but I would have expected, I predicted at least, you know, maybe one more thrill attraction or theme park attraction in general. You've got the Camp Snoopy area, you've got the Giga Coaster coming to King's Island, which is Orion. That's constructed up really, really well. The construction's really picked up the pace on that, uh, on the Firehawk, Dinosaurs Alive kind of site, on the new sort of area, uh, this new area site near Flight of Fear. Um, so that's that's going up really well in terms of construction, but I think this new this new attraction for Knots really does balance it out a bit more. So I'm excited to see what they're going to announce on November 19th. Um, fingers crossed, I should bring out a video around the 19th, 20th of November um, from that IAPA, like I did last year with IAPA. I brought out individual videos on stuff that was announced at IAPA, things like. Uh, the Vekoma concept, the Monster Jam Coaster concept. Still haven't heard anything from that, which is a bit weird. Um, we had some other stuff from IAPA as well. Um, and again, I'll do a collection of all the IAPA announcements as well. So uh, all that will come uh, in separate videos and an overall video as well. So uh, I'll try and get another one of those IAPA videos up. But that, that's it then, so this is that's what I think will happen with Knots next year, um, as well as celebrating the anniversary. It's either going to be a refurbishment of Voyage to the Iron Reef, or it's going to be the return of Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, or a return of Knott's Berry Tales, 
or it could be a different Triceratops tri attraction altogether. So comment down below what do you guys think, I'll shout you out as well in the next video on the next day. Uh, so we've got a weekend of good uploads to come. Um, so any more updates that come up I'll record them, give you a shout out as well. Uh, so make sure you comment down your thoughts down below. Comment down below what you think. You want to see the return of Knott's Berry Tales? Comment down below. And for now guys, my name is Coach Shao. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Shao. Kill you in the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next theme park news update very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day my friends. Thank you.